Hi, this is Ali Lami from Big Smoke Cigar Kuwait. Today we're going to talk about how you're going to pick your humidor and set it up or season it. Come with me, I will show you. The humidors actually, they are coming in different manufacturers and different sizes and different brands and different sizes. Let's see here. Like this is humidor. It is uh, for 35 cigars. It will give you the choice if you have, you want for 35 cigars. And then they will go like this one. It will go for 50 cigars if a guy want 50 cigars. Then this one, they call it the cabinets. Cabinets will go beyond a hundred cigars. Different kind of cabinet and different kind of brands. And this is what they call it desktop, but with legs. Let's take 350 cigars, different brand. And then they will go for the small ones, the 10 cigars, like these one, the brands of Cohibas. And then you will have like this desktop. The price is, it depends on the client who want to buy the humidor. If you are looking for a high end, like these kind of humidors, this humidor is made in France, and the difference is the finishing and the wood and the thickness of the wood between the, the quality humidors and the low quality humidors. This humidor will take for 200 cigars. This size of a humidor will take for 110 cigars. This one, it will take 200 cigars. This one, from the same brand, but it will take for... ...75 cigars. And you can see the thickness of the humidor. And how you're gonna check your humidor, they are tight and good. When you close it, you will see the sound it will go like that, and you can see in the other one. I can show you the other one, like here. When you open it, it will tight the air. It's like that. Tight the air. It will give you the the the, the sound of the air that's been tight. That means the humidor is very Type. Then you can see it will go beyond to big cabinets. This one is taking 750 cigars. If you are a guy of uh, carrying to have boxes and singles, you will carry one like this. Then we will go for travel humidors. Travel humidors, they come like this, the plastic one. That when we have it here, they come right with in different brands. But the same idea, they come on 5, 10, and 15 cigars. This is for traveling. You can use it and you can put the water here for the humidification. And there is another one. Like this one, they call it the shotgun. Light it from cedar, cedar inside. And this is for golf, or uh, people, they like to carry their cigars when going for a picnic. It can be under the travel unit. So the idea is, you choose your humidor, it depends on how many quantity of cigar you want to buy or you want to keep. Some people they say, okay, we're not going to keep more than 50 cigars. Some of them they say, no, we need the 200 cigars. Some of them they say, no, we need the cabinets. And the other decision is, the quality of your humidor. 
if you are looking for good quality, you should go and see how is the humidity being manufactured. The thickness is very important in the humidity. The thickness of the of the of the walls, and it should be. I, they, they come in cedar, they come in oak, and they come in rosewood. Rosewood will be the expensive humidor actually. And it's not going to be lined up with cedar. It should be cedar wood humidor. Lined up with cedar, mostly they are Chinese. And I'm not going to attack the Chinese humidors, but the qualities will be so many different. There's so much different between these and the brand like, you know, the Miserati, they are coming from Italy, this one, the Gris Blue, they are coming from France, and then you have the Promise you see. This one, it will take around 210, uh, 110 cigars, you can see, and you see the thickness of the wall. Too much thickness on the wall, and this is, will give more quality for the humidity. And when you, when you close it, you can hear the air tight. This is show you that how the, the humidor is tight and very good. Then we'll go to the other step. Yes. How gonna we set up our humidor? Setting up the humidor is one of the important things. I do it my way, I don't know maybe people they disagree with me. I have the, the method or the code of three days season. I do it like this. This is the humidor. You will open it. Remove the issue first when you buy it. Then move the things, put it up and down. Then you will say, okay, it's like this. The seat, the separator. Then I am going to bring the the water, actually I'm using Zycar water or any other brand, it's not gonna have any problem. A piece of cloth clean, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply the water and wipe it all around, all around it. Also here the same, also here the same, and I will apply all the water around the whole of the humidity. All the woods. I will separate it, atomize, and apply the water until they separated. So that means the wood will get satisfied and not gonna be when I put my cigars, take dry my cigars and use the water that or the humid the humidity in my cigar. This is the the way I do it. I apply the water everywhere. Then I'm gonna do like that. Finish applying. The wood will change to the dark color from the inside. Then, if I have a digital gauge, I will fix my digital gauge. Like you know, in here, the promoters they have a digital gauge like that. Then, we'll open it. Commission my digital gauge and put it and close my humidor for the next day. In the Prometheus, they, the humidifier comes from the manufacturer, it's already saturated with water, ready to be fixed. Second day, I will open my humidor and fix it, close it. Third day, I'm going to apply my cigars. For other humidors, it will go the other down. We're gonna what you're gonna do? I'm gonna take the humidifier. That's with my humidor I bought. Put it in the water, and then apply it. I leave it 
Leave it with it for 20 minutes until it gets saturated. Then after it finish, from the beam, take it from left and take it to the right and let it saturate all the water. We'll finish everything. Then I will dry it. Until it becomes dry because I don't want it. I don't want the water to fill in my cigars when I fix it. You can see it's become dry with the last one. Then I will open my humidor and fix it. If the manufacturer is not make my humidor ready and so many uh, manufacturer they will give you a dry humidifier actually. I recommend using the big guy cold water. This one it's very good, you know, propylene glycol water. It's actually the humidification, it's very, uh, it, it's helpful the humidification with the humidifiers and keep uh, your humidifier from not fungusing. And then after you finish, you're not gonna throw this water, you're gonna return it back and use it for increasing the humidity when it will go down. This is for today. I hope this information will be helpful. I hope all the details been covered from the how you choose your humidor, from how you decide which uh, which capacity you need, 50 cigars or 100 cigars or 100 or 110 cigars. It depends on your choices. But from my opinion, you buy the humidor once. You buy a good humidor because in the end you are buying a cigars and your cigar will be expensive than the humidor. So you need to keep your valuable thing in a valuable humidor. You don't buy a cigar, you don't buy a humidor for 50 kD and you keep a cigar for 200 kD inside it. There is no logic in that. And for the seasoning, three day seasoning, your humidor will be perfect and the humidity it will be for it should be from 64 to 69 this is the perfect humidity, 70 that's okay, and the temperature should be 19, 18, that will be perfect. Your cigar will be perfect. When you light it, it will be not wet, and it will be, you will enjoy smoking your cigar because you maintain the humidity from 64 to 69. When you reach 64, you will add water to increase the humidity and keep your temperature on 18, 19. That's all for today. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it will be beneficial to you. And we'll see you again in other videos. Thank you for your support. This is Ali Alami from Big Smoke Cigar Grill. Ma'asalaam.